senses, the sense of a sight is one of the most important sense. Through it, we see mountains, rivers, trees, plants, stairs, people, and so many other things around us. We also see clouds, rainbows, and birds flying in the sky. At night, we see the moon and the stars. You are able to see the words and sentences printed on these in on these page. How is seeing it possible? Yes. How is seeing made possible? Anyone answer? Pragyan, how is seeing made possible? Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, seeing is possible through our eyes. How I am asked you? Ma'am, can I? The first, very first picture in my important points was how we are able to see. Yes, Aviral. Ma'am, due to reflection of light. How? What happens actually? Do you remember that pic that I have given you in the important points? First one. What was that? Ma'am, because of source of and light. So what should be all you have to compile? There should be a source of light, and the source of light will be falling on the object. After reflection on the object, it will fall on our on our eye, and then only we are able to see an object. If your room is having many things, you can see around you anything. But if it is totally dark, are you able to see anything in the room? No, you are not able to see. But if a slit of light enters your room, you are able to see more or less much much better than the previous condition. So what does it tell? That there should be a source of light, there should be objects, and there should be the object is a reflecting surface. After reflection, that light will fall on your eye. That is mainly we have read about pupil. That will. Form the image, and that this and this will enter the eye, and the image will be formed on the retina. Retina is our screen on which the real image is formed. Okay, clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Now, Rashmit, continue. Sixteen point one. What makes things visible? Have you ever through how we see various objects? You may say that I see the object, but can you see a an object in the dark? It means that eyes alone cannot see any object. It is only when light from an object enters our eyes that we see the object. The light may have see uh, have been imitated by the object. Imitated नहीं है. Imitated नहीं है. क्या है? Pronounce it properly. Emitted. What do you mean by emitted, Rupika? And the light has been produced by an object. Yes, the emitted that has been given by or produced by an object. So sun is a luminous source. It is emitting light. But moon is not a luminous source. It is only a reflecting source, है ना? It is only the reflecting light. It is a reflecting surface. So emission means it is producing or giving off. Okay, now continue. Have been reflected. Hmm. Ha have been reflected by it. You learn in class seven that a polished or a shiny surface can act as a mirror. A mirror changes the direction of the light that falls on it. Can you tell in which direction the light falling on a surface will be reflected? Let us find out. Yes. So now you are going to see about that. What happens when the light is falling on a surface? it will reflect back so in which direction it is reflecting that we can find out from the ray diagram of reflection yes ayush now continue ayush singh continue the next reflection also yes i'm sure i have to read activity also ma'am yes activity first and then the other part 16.2 laws of reflection activity 16.1 fix a white sheet of paper on a drawing board or a table Take a comb and close all its openings except one on the middle. You can use a strip of black paper for this purpose. Hold the comb perpendicular to the sheet of paper. Throw light from a torch through the opening of the comb from one side. Figure 16.1. With slight adjustment of the torch and the comb, you will see a ray of light along the paper on the other side of the comb. Keep the comb and torch steady. Place a strip of Plane in the path of light. Figure 16.1. What do you want? Okay, just you see, children. First of all, they see the diagram in the figure 16.1. You are able to see 
there you have fixed a mirror over there you have take a plane that is a white paper is a plane over here and by adjusting a comb and behind the comb we have taken a source of light for example we have taken torch through one of the slit of the comb that is a larger one you can see the light can enter through the slit and it is falling on the mirror at the place where the mirror is ending up on the paper hai na just you yes, see and yes, also you are able to see that after reflection the ray is bouncing back you can see the reflected ray and on the other end far behind the mirror we have already learned that the image that is formed through a plane mirror is virtual you can see the rays beyond that is as if the rays have gone beyond the mirror on the screen can you see in the mirror you can see the reflection uh, that on that side so now what we are going to observe we are going to observe that there is a ray that is incident and there is a ray that is going or bouncing back that is called the reflected ray yes ayush now continue next page okay not after next page no. yes after striking the mirror the ray of light is reflected in another direction the light ray which strikes any surface is called incident the ray that comes back from the surface after reflection is known as reflected a ray of light is an idealization in reality we have a narrow beam of light which is made up of several rays for simplicity we use the term ray for a narrow beam of light okay stop so an idealism means we have taken a ray of light as an ideal form but in reality what will happen we are having what is beam or difference between beam and ray beam is a collection of many rays of light and single ray is a single straight line of light so actually that we are taking in each of the experiment that are not actually rays but we are mentioning them as rays for an idealism otherwise they are nothing but beam of light a collection of rays so we have a narrow beam of light which is made up of several rays so for simplicity we use the term ray instead of beam of light am i clear so all the experiment that you are going to do that are with a beam of light but for simplicity we are telling them as ray of light okay clear yes ma'am yes ma'am yes next draw lines showing the position of the plane mirror the incident ray and the reflected ray on the paper with the help of your pen remove the mirror and the comb draw a line making an angle of 90 degrees to the line representing the mirror at the point where the incident ray strikes the mirror this line is known as the normal to the reflecting surface at that point Figure what is normal point. what i have told you about normal it's not given here what i have told you actually make you understand regarding normal kya hai normal what is normal abiral ma'am 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 please wait she ma'am falling on a plane mirror ma'am which is ma'am between the incident and the ma'am reflected ray no why it is called normal i told you yes adarsh what i have told you about normal why it is called normal i told you that when a ray of light is falling vertically on a surface it will retrace its path have i told you sab bol gaya yes ma'am yes yes so when a ray of light is falling vertically at an angle of 90 degree it will retrace its path and that is why that line is called normal whenever any incident ray is making an angle with this normal it will get reflected making an, an angle with the normal theek hai but if we just calculate it if you take many observation then we will see the angle of incidence will be angle of equals to angle of reflection so i have taken this angle of incidence what is the angle of incidence that is the angle that has been made with the incident ray with a normal again you can see the reflected what is the re angle of ref reflection it is the angle that has been made by the reflected ray with the normal am i clear 
so by the laws of reflection what it states angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection am i clear yes ma'am what is yes, the other law what is the second law states rupika ma'am incidence ma'am can i ma'am can i yes ranjali ma'am incident ray reflected ray and normal of the reflecting surface lie on the same plane so this incident ray this reflected ray and the normal will lie on the same plane will lie on the same plane, plane. who is there in the name of pathan ji aapke class mein koi join karte hai pathan ji no ma'am no ma'am so i am not allowing this person to enter okay no ma'am koi muslim ladka hoga no jo bhi hai but from your class or not no ma'am have you ever seen no, no. no so this is the laws of reflection now we are going to what i told after i was home that do i tell to read no one adarsh adarsh read then adarsh am i audible 